So basically I'm using baking powder to make the paint look more like a terracotta style. So like it actually looks like pottery. And so I'm gonna use this green. And I'm basically just gonna try to make a couple of these so far. I bought this at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. And I'm just gonna make a lot of these. I have one over there that I'm gonna paint soon. But yeah, I basically just did a like, I, I found this on TikTok obviously, but like it was a four to one ratio of baking powder and paint. Cause I don't wanna have too many, um, too much baking powder. But yeah, it should be fun. I'm so bad at painting. Uh, it, it was so bad at painting, but with one hand. <laughs> this is gonna need a lot of coats. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I think I used way too much baking uh, powder. And I also saw where people used baking soda, so I think I might have used the wrong thing. I didn't bother painting the bottom, if you can't tell. I'm just gonna hide that part. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's falling out, but I tried, and that's all that matters. They're all falling out now. But yeah, I think it looks cute. Okay, so now here's the second DIY thing. I basically did the exact same thing I did earlier, but with a mirror. So I just taped over the mirror part and I did the, I don't, I didn't necessarily do exact measurements, so I don't really know what to tell you, but I worked off of a four to one ratio. So that there's like, if I went in like cups, say I was using cups for some reason. So I did four cups to one cup, if that makes any sense. Um, so like four cups of pa uh, paint and then one cup of baking powder or baking soda would be what I did. But I didn't do any exact measurements, so I have no no idea what I actually used. But I just basically, I did it until it looked a little gritty, but it wasn't so gritty that I thought it would dry like the first one did, because I think I used way too much in the first one. So I did a little less than I did the first time. But I, I think it's cool to use it on mirrors, and I didn't really see anyone doing that. I was like, oh, this could be cool, because I wanted to do a mirror wall, and I don't know for sure if I still want to do a mirror wall, but for a while I wanted to do a mirror wall. So if I don't, I'll find somewhere to put this later on, but I guess for now, I'll just put it somewhere random. But anyway, so um, basically just follow the exact instructions I said earlier, and then just do it on a mirror if you if, the, if you want. It's, it's basically the same DIY, but just different objects. So it counts as separate. I'm gonna count it at least. extra tip um, I found that blow drying it in between layers can help it dry faster which means it makes the whole thing take less time so it won't show that I it was a 20 minute process but it was like a 20 to 40 minute process because I know for sure I had one clip where it was 23 minutes of me just painting so it really really helps if you uh, use a blow dryer and do that between coats so that it dries faster
Okay, so what isn't pictured is that I realized how dumb it was of me to kind of try to do the splatter paint inside because it would get everywhere. So I do eventually take this outside where I would recommend you start because I was not very smart and I got the black paint all over my highlighters. If you can't tell, if you look at the pink one right now, you'll see a splatter, uh, one singular splash of paint. But I realized it's probably not the smartest idea and what I wanted to do, a better technique of doing this, and this instead of doing what I'm doing where I'm brushing my finger against it, it's just, uh, oh, how do I explain it? You basically act like you're going to throw the paintbrush, but you don't actually throw the paintbrush, so you like, like, fling the, fling, that's a good word, you fling the paintbrush and that makes the, the outcome better. 